This screencast is in response to some questions online about how to deal with questions 5 and 6, for example, where you are to show the employee IDs that have the highest gross amount for each department or the highest rate for each department. I'll show you how to do number 5 here, which is the highest gross amount for department. Uh, on the payroll tab, we have the gross column here. We don't, however, have the department on this tab, so we need to add that. And so I'm just going to create a column here that uh, we'll use and we'll use a VLOOKUP formula to look up the department on the employees uh, worksheet and that's uh, in column 7. Okay, so R29 is the department for this first employee. I'm just going to use my little trick of putting an X at the bottom to uh, extend that formula down. So now we have the department for everybody here. So now we can create our pivot table. So our pivot table that's fine. We are going to add up the gross. Um, let's see if we can format that. Um, let's see, we're going to put the department here, and then we will also put the employee IDs. Okay, well, you notice that we've got uh, a, you know, a ton of employee IDs here, but we only want the top employee in each department. Well, you can do that pretty easily in a pivot table. If you click on the employee ID field, any, any one of these employee ID fields, and then uh, use this um, arrow up here, you can say, use a value filter to show only the top 10, it says, but you can change that to whatever you want. We only want to see the top one item going by the sum of gross for each department. And so you'll see that there's actually two employees that tie for de Department H12. So we actually have four employees showing up here. But that's, uh, that's how you do that. You use the, um, the value filter and then tap 10 and change it to whatever you want. Now you notice when I clicked over in the amount that value filter looks like it's not selected. It's only if I click back over onto the employee IDs, now you'll see a checkbox next to the value filter. And then if you want to get rid of it, you can use this clear filter or you can change it to something else. Um, but that's how you do it. It's not very complicated and uh, it's kind of a hidden feature though. So if you don't know to look in there, you might struggle for a while trying to figure that out.